Dave and I have come out to a place we went to before. We've only been here once. You can see Dave's over there starting a little scrape around. It's New Year's Eve. It's a bit of a break in the weather. So we thought we'd come and have a little scratch around here. So if we find anything we'll bring you back. So I've just uncovered this uh, object. It does look sort of complete. Um, Dave's come to help me dig it out. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be right now. But let's see. And after all that effort, it's an old enamel saucepan. There you go, win some, you lose some. <laughs> we've come out for a little look around a local tip we don't come to very often just seen a little collar stud and Dave's just found a complete mom jar so yeah keep a little look out and see what the bottle diggers have been doing I think I might have a little beauty I've just uncovered oh look at that Look at this. It's a little dish for some doll's house furniture. Isn't that cute? Oh. Just taking a little bit more of this one fell out, which is a nice sheer top. It's plain. Still a nice bottle. And then this little jar, it is a screw top. Oh, I think it's got some writing on it. Yeah, it has. I think it says, and I'll clean it off. Let's say, oh, malted milk. Oh, sorry, I'm not in the camera. Malted milk. Huh. I'll keep that in there. It's a nice little jar. I'll keep that one. And just dig in here, and another bottle's fallen down. Oh, it's a nice amber one. Panelled. Oh, that's a bit of a... Look, is that a crack or is that an inclusion? Can't feel the crack. Oh, there's right in it. All the way up. What's that? Wards Harleen, I think. Look on the other side. Yes, sir, I'm just going to clean that other side up. I'll clean that when I get home. Might be able to read it easier. Yeah, nice kind of bottle, eh? Get around digging. See if I can find anything else. Look at this absolute gorgeous little bottle here. He's tiny. I wish I was recording this, but I've just pulled this out. A lovely little cream jar. Now, it's not embossed, but I don't care. It's lovely. It's the first one I've ever found anyway. Awesome. I've also, because I know people like them, have found a part of a doll's face too. With a chubby cheek and a chin and a bottom lip. So yeah, a few little things coming up here. And everybody tells us not to bother here because it's been dug to death, but I never believe that. So yeah, let's see what else we can find. Digging a bit further in here in the same hole. And there's a, a 
There's a metal saucepan and there's a bottle there. And he's loose. Oh, this looks like a pickle. Oh, there's writing on it. Okay, bear with me. Clean that off. Uh, just clean that off. As I say, that's something and I can't quite read it. A Sherwood. And cat was a short words. Limited. Oh, is that London? Calcutta and London. Nice. It's not a bad line. Oh, see what else was in there and keep on digging. I don't know if you can see, but just down here, I've just uncovered a bottle and I don't know if it's whole or or what but let's dig it out and see what we find well here it is it's plain but it is an amber probably some kind of chemist bottle i think it's going to be a lovely color and not broken it's complete yeah so let's keep hunting Okay, I saw this poking out, so I didn't even properly film it. I thought it was going to be broken. And it's this tiny little bottle that says, Sun, coffee. Isn't that gorgeous? I've never heard of that before. It must be a little sample bottle. Oh, wow. That is lovely. What do you think? Just in there. I don't know if you can see it. But I've got a bottle just there. Let's see what it is and I'll try and dig it out. It was broken. Never mind. I've just used my bit of breath. I had a bit of a dig around here. I've just come across a bottle. Gonna have to go at digging it out here. Oh, bear with me. Let's see if we can. Oh, he's loose. And. Oh. What have we got? It's. Oh, it's embossed. Hang on. Clean it off. What have we got? It's uh, the West, Western, the West Wilt, oh, the West Wilts aerated water. I think that's company there. And Trowbridge. Oh, it's a local one. That's a nice bottle. Haven't got one of those? Well, we have now. A little bit more scooping around in the hole and just dug out this lovely little hexagonal, sorry, octagonal ink. Lovely condition. Clean that when I get home and then buy it. There was this, what was I say on there? Uh, Gordon's something. I think, but we'll wash that up when we get home. And then this lovely light blue with that emblem on it just come out of the ground. And it's just started to rain quite hard, so I think we're going to make our way home now. So, a couple of nice little finds for about an hour's digging, along with the nice I think the West Wilts aerated waters bottle and so that's a few little finds that I've had in about hours digging at this place where we've come and hopefully we'll have to come back again another day let's get out of this rain hello and we are back 
I'm going to start to remove some of this soil that we were moving on Sunday and see what else we can uncover. Wish us luck. Hello. All right, what I have found? had much for my, my toils today. A couple of sauce bottles. One's got a bit of embossing and a little ink, but it's got a dink. However, now I know, I know, no. Oops. Oh dear. I that anyway. I found, I think, a lime jar stuck in the roof. Um, it's just under there. Well, I can't see it. Okay, so let's see. It might take me a while to dig out. So let's see. What do you think? Oh, it's complete. or broken. I think it'll be a plain one. Lots of roots there. There's loads of roots here. I'm trying to dig around them. I don't know. What do you think? My favourite birds in the background there? I'm not feeling that way. Yeah, well, you can stop filming till it's broken. You think it's broken? I think it's broken. Look. Oh, it looks whole. And it was broken. Never mind. Can't win them all. No, yeah, never mind. Okay. Right. Let's see what else you might find in there. Hello from the Moonraker Mudlarks and today we've come out on a really lovely day. We thought we'd come down to another tip that we've been coming to for the last week or so. It's been dug so many times and we're not expecting to find much but uh, yeah we've got a few hours so we thought we'd come to one that's relatively local. So if we find anything interesting to show you I'll be sure to film it for you. Um, so wish us luck. So this is my little area. I've already found a couple of things just on the surface. So I thought I'd give this bit here a little go. It's probably already been dug, but not for a while. So let's see what I find. Oh, there we go. Oh, is it? Oh, it's hot. That's good. Oh, well, hang on. Let me just clean that off. What's that? I can't read it. Oh, I'll clean it up a bit better. Get my glasses on. Oh, it's got a crack. Put a lick on it. But it's hard. But is that chip? Oh. But it's hard. But what's that? I can't, I can't read it. Put it down a minute. Get my glasses on, clean it up a bit. I've been digging and digging. Loads of broken pottery, broken cups, broken plates, lots of blue and white, red and white, green and white, a few broken bottles. I saw a handle sticking out as I was scraping. I thought that's going to be broken. What is it? Give me your hand. I can't, just. Shut your eyes then, while I pass right. it over. Oh, that's lovely! It's a Jubilee cup. Oh wow! Queen Victoria Jubilee year 1887. Wow! It's got a chip on the bottom there, hasn't it? Is it? It's got a mark on the bottom, but I can't quite make it out. In a minute. trademark of something. Oh, that's gorgeous. Well done, you. I sent you out a minute before you're there. Careful you don't break it. So I can't really hold the camera because my arms are knackered. <laughs> yeah. 
There we go, it's kind of... Oh! What? Well, that's okay, there's hardly anything. That's just surface. There How beautiful. Are you going to put it in your bag? No, I'll probably break it. No, put it in your bag. Oh, it's your find. Well done. So I'm just clearing the ground here and notice something. Not sure. It's got gilding on it. The top of something. Little handle, little knob, or a tip nip. So as I was digging my hole, I've seen a bead fall back in, so I know that there's a blue one in there. But I just found a, I think it's a cod marble. Very happy with that. All about the little finds today. I'm not after any big bottles, just what I can find. There he is, look. Just found him. It'll be in here somewhere. There we go. And um, I think it's a blue bead. Can't imagine it'll be anything else. So yeah, found it. I'm a little dig here. I've just uncovered this. So I'm gonna have to dig around it and see if it's whole. Get in here. Just loosen up underneath it. Like that. Is it? Don't want to break it. No, it's still a bit tight. Might be broken already. But we don't want to. Okay. Here it comes. Oh, it's broken. What a shame. It's only half of one. Never mind. It looked like it was going to be whole. Oh well, keep digging. Alright. Okay. Just heard a little, a little shout of excitement. Yeah, um, I'm just, as you can see, just doing my whole. I've literally just moved this bucket and I have no idea where this has just come from. Oh, you haven't? You have? Look at this, look at that. I've never seen one that small before, not in that shape. Well done, look you. Look at it. What a brilliant little find. Have you seen one like that before? Not that small, no. Sorry, Ian. Have you got one like this? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I, I, I don't even know where I came from. Well, you're old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well done. Well, there you go. Well done, babe. Well, get back to my nothing in it hole. Well, you found something beautiful earlier. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll get back to my nothing left in it hole. Okay. Bye. Bye. I spy with my little eye something beginning with V. It's our old friend. Plain one. But very nice. That'll do nicely, thank you very much. There we go, this little bottle's just fallen out. It's a plainy. But very cute, very cute. Bubbly. Possibly a perfume bottle. I like it. Look, another one's just popped out. <laughs> He's a nice aqua blue colour. Again, plain. Very bubbly. I know people love these. So I might start putting these on my Kofi shop because I don't really bother with it. But, uh, yeah, that's a really nice one. Probably good for a craft, actually. Think of something. So, as you can see, my hole is getting a bit bigger. And I don't mean that in a rude sense.
And I've just got another one of these lovely little bottles out. It's all about the small finds today, I think. And that's good enough for me. Just found this. Would have been a lovely, I guess, a top to put on top of possibly eggs. Might be a bit too small for that, but I could do that with a craft maybe if I cut it down. Probably keep that because it's really rather sweet. So a few last minute finds. Got a daddy's, not as good as a bottle I found before, which was at my favourite brook. It's a bit broken, so that's staying here. I don't know, know what this is, but it's ceramic. Oh yeah, no it's idea. Like, um, yeah, ceramic. Would it be part of a baby's rattle? Maybe. We'll take that. Uh, a lung tonic. Got well, quite a few of these, so I'll leave this behind. And a Foster's Clark lemonade. Again, we got loads of these, so I'll leave it behind. It is quite an old bottle, though. But yeah, we got loads and loads of them. And Dave's yeah, found. A taste dish. Oh. Little one. I don't think we've got one that size. Well, we have now. Well, not as good that could condition. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay. Right. So we had a really nice afternoon. Found a few little beauties. Probably come back. Finished digging our holes. But we're losing the light now, so we're going to call it a day. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Hello and welcome to our roundup and in front of you you can see our finds or bar one a little pot that they found which I cannot find anywhere so let's have a little closer look at these and see what we discovered so I'll start over here today uh, the first little so I'll start over here with the ambers Here's my gorgeous bottle and although it's plain, it does have an interesting little base there. Stand kind of design. And here's Dave's. Unfortunately, very cracked. Would have been a gorgeous golden amber. And it is an Edwards Harleen and Co. Astol Hair Colour Restorer. Look at that, would have been beautiful if it wasn't so dinked. Reuben Goldstein Edwards, later known as Reuben George Edwards, was the proprietor of Edwards Harling, manufacturer of hair restorers, colorants and other hair products for both men and women, from which he made a fortune. Edwards Harling hair products were marketed between 1897 and 1951 often promising remarkable cures for baldness or grey hair. In 1903, Edwards registered the word Harleen as a trademark and he claimed to have been selling the brand's name since 1883. In 1912, the Parliament of the Commonwealth of Australia published a series of articles titled Secret Remedies, What They Cost and What They Contain which were analysis of patent medicines by the British Medical Association. They found Harling to be about 93% water, 6% alcohol, 5% borax, 4% glycerine, 1% ammonia and traces of other ingredients. Down to these little bottles. Now this one. <laughs> has got the little collar stud that I found stuck in its neck and I cannot remove it but I think this would have been a penny perfume and here is that gorgeous little sample pot which says sun coffee and I cannot find anything absolutely nothing on the internet about this so if anybody knows anything about sun coffee please leave a comment in the comments below 
got some lovely coloured glass now, uh, some nice aquas, a little miniature I think, I don't know what would have been in there, it resembles a wine bottle but I don't think it would have had wine in it, and some aqua, little I think apothecary chemist bottles there, lovely. Would this have contained cast oil or something? And this one, which is absolutely gorgeous. A really chunky bottle, really well made. Really nice thick glass and in really good condition. And this little one down here, though a screw neck, is kind of like an ice blue colour. And it has Horlicks malted milk on it. Isn't that lovely? British brothers James and William Horlick moved to Racine, Wisconsin, then formed a Chicago corporation in 1873 to produce a dried baby food. After a return to Racine two years later, William patented a formula in 1883 and named the new product Malted Milk. When James returned to England in 1890, he opened a London office but began to build a factory at Slough in Buckinghamshire in 1906. That year, the brothers renamed the company as the Horlicks Malted Milk Company. Now here's the pickle jar that Dave found. It's uh, Sherwood's. Mm -hmm. Um, it still had a bit of its label on, which we started to remove, but there was a crack underneath it, so I stopped cleaning this off. Uh, so we didn't damage it any further, but it's got absolutely gorgeous embossing on there. And on the bottom has a swath sticker. Now, I believe that's to do with the Calcutta um, side of the company, and not Germany. And this is also a symbol of good luck, which is a very interesting little detail on that jar. Sherwood's is a British food company which specialises in Asian food. It was established in 1889 and acquired by RHM in 1963, which was then merged into Premier Foods in March 2007. Here we have a gorgeous little hexagonal ink. Dave found that one. And a gorgeous example of Patterson's Camp Coffee. This is a nice bottle too. Really nice thick glass, well embossed. A really nice example. Camp Coffee is a concentrated syrup which is flavoured with coffee and chicory. First produced in 1876 by Patterson and Sons Limited in Glasgow. This is an absolutely beautiful bottle. The West Wilts Aerated Water Company of Trowbridge. Now I couldn't find anything for this specific branch of the company, um, but there is on the internet uh, Aerated Water Company in Chippenham. It doesn't say that it's uh, linked to this particular company though, so unfortunately at the moment I have no information on there. So if you know anything about the West Wiltshire Aerated Water Company of Trowbridge, again please leave a comment in the comments below. Here is my very unexpected star find, a lovely little poison bottle. We definitely don't have one of this size in this shape so this is the smallest one that we have um, with not to be taken beautiful green and again like I said totally surprised that we would find that in this tip and here's a lovely little bottle that Dave found which is Bishop's Barrelettes isn't that gorgeous got the embossing there on the side as well Beautiful. Valorettes were effervescing lithia tablets for gout and were manufactured in the late 1800s by the London chemist Alfred Bishop. Some miscellaneous finds here. So we've got a milk glass lid, a little glass stopper with Holbrooks on, uh, another little draw knob 
porcelain one. I think that would have been a top to a lid as well. I thought this would be a cod marble, but it's a clay marble. A little doll's house plate. A vulcanite. A bit of china doll with its chubby cheeks and bottom lip. And what would have been the lid to something? I said I might do a craft with this. Not quite sure yet how, but I might do. So keep an eye out for that. Here we have two Yorkshire Relish, uh, Goodall, Back House and Company bottles. Both slightly different ages and in slightly different conditions. So this bottle is in better condition than this one but I do believe that this bottle will be older. Yorkshire Relish was the highest selling bottled sauce in the Victorian era. It was advertised as the most delicious sauce in the world. Founded by Robert Goodall, Goodall entered into a partnership with William Powell and Henry Backhouse. The firm was known as Goodall, Backhouse and Company. In 1865, Goodall began to manufacture Yorkshire Relish. So over to our stoneware, lovely marm jar. Um, it doesn't have the authentic label on the bottom, so this is just a generic one. A cream jar, again, no printing on there, no maker's mark, so just a generic one. But the first that I've found, Dave's found a couple of those so far. And this, which is Dave's star find by far, uh, Queen Victoria commem Commemorative Jubilee Mug. And the stamp on the bottom is trademark um, by William Whiteley. Isn't that lovely? Just a slight crack on there, which is just a surface crack in, in the glaze. Still has its handle and gilding on there. What a beautiful find. William Whiteley was an English entrepreneur of the late 19th and early 20th century. He was the founder of William Whiteley Limited, retail company whose department store became the Whiteley Shopping Centre. In 1851, on a visit to London to see the Great Exhibition, his imagination was fired and he got the idea that he could create a store as grand as the Crystal Palace where all goods could be under one roof. On the 24th of January 1907, Whiteley was shot dead at his shop by Horace George Rayner, who was aged 29, who claimed that he was Whiteley's illegitimate son and that his real name was Cecil Whiteley. Though this claim was refuted by Whiteley's attorney at the time, documents were later discovered, potentially proving Rayner's claim. So Dave and I really hope that you enjoyed our latest video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Um, it is completely free. It doesn't cost you a penny at all. Please leave a comment as well. It really helps our channel. Um, and we hope to see you very soon on our next adventure. So bye.